at its heart, the Food Systems Leadership Network is a network of really brilliant, amazing people that are working to shift food systems in communities across the United States. The Wallace Center is all about bringing together people and ideas and really prioritizing diversity when we're looking for solutions in farming and food systems, which are based on diversity and complexity. As a network weaver, my role is to figure out what are the gaps? What are the ways that we can really transform the food system? That's really what's changing things. It's human relationships and human relationships to the natural world that is actually gonna solve problems. It's important for any network to recognize that no transformation happens if there's not racial equity at the core. I'm incredibly motivated by racial justice and equity work, so I've been able to collaborate with food systems leaders from all across the country to move forward equity campaigns and equity issues that we are all focused on. The breadth of change that's required right now in shifting food systems towards equity, sustainability, resilience, it's a serious undertaking. My own worldview made me see things that made it real challenging for me to move forward inside of my work. I called them artificial barriers. Until I met with the Food Systems Leadership Network, I attended a systems thinking course and kind of helped put the science to what I was trying to interpret and figure out on my own. And then also made me assess how important those things that I was given so much attention to were. We can learn from others, people who are running food hubs, creating new markets, increasing equity not just among the people they serve, but within their own organization, restructuring their values. It is a medium for us to more rapidly share our wins, share our knowledge, so that all of us can be lifted up together. That's the heart of the FSLN is bringing folks together to support one another. I mean, it has transformative public health impacts, economic impacts, social impacts. My hope for the network is that it grows and continues to serve and support the leaders as they are growing and evolving, that it tracks with that. The Food Systems Leadership Network has enabled us to build the network, find the resources, the assets, the expertise, and the technical assistance to enable us to advance our vision. It connected me to support systems to be able to navigate uh, the inevitable tensions that would arise and ultimately uh, has created a platform for us to be able to organize BIPOC folks in agriculture. I'm seeing the Food Systems Leadership Network show up in my, my life, in my work, in my community by drawing attention to how important it is to cultivate strong, critical, interpersonal relationships that enable us to heal ourselves, that give us an opportunity to be in right relationship with our resources, with our land, the work that we do, and with the communities that we work with. I'm in it for the farmers. And when I get better at something, I get to spread it around the community and everything accelerates a little bit because our networks are so strong. Individually, I only know so much, but together we know a lot. So I think there's, there's really no other strategy to shift systems than through coalitions and networks.